love. Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. Oh, darling, parallel universes do exist and they affect this one. When you start to throw your miracles into the other parallel universe, you start to affect the universe that you're in and you affect that universe. Do you think I'm crazy? Okay, let's join in our craziness right now, okay? <laughs> so here you go. If I go into the parallel universe that I want to be in, you know, this one does not have a lot of what I want. And you may wonder sometimes, why am I in this universe, this painful universe where it's so hard and it's so lonely and it's so disconnected and the women are so... Uh, oppressed and 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 in america where we we have an insane president who who's an outright murderer and people just let him get away with it like why this universe why this universe where climate change has is is such a disaster that we might not even be able to live much longer where children are abused all over the planet and animals are going extinct why why this universe why are you here, darling? You're here because you are the reminder to all those around you of what the other universe is like, of what the possibilities are for creating into this universe. You are the bridge between worlds. <laughs> yeah. So let's practice your interdimensional universal ability right now. All right. So in the other world this little town that i'm in is great except for that the little store down the road where people go and have their tea in their new england way where people don't really talk to each other and they're all on their computers it's a little different in the other universe that little cafe has awesome sexy music playing live music of the most hottest musicians <laughs> and people stand around talking to each other because there's this juice bar that stands about five feet tall and has all think, kind of things like goji berry smoothies and wheatgrass and a little bit of light alcohol drinks, you know, and it's just warming people up. And the other thing that's different in the alternate universe in my town is that the place in the center of town where we all used to swim, which was called the potholes, uh, waterfalls, and they closed it off to, to all of us in this world just to shut off our joy so that we could all be safe. <laughs> no, in the alternate universe, safety is joy. That's what's considered safe. More safe, more, the more joy, the more fun, the more safe we know we are. And so those are open and everybody's, it's a warmer weather now in this location because it's a different season. <laughs> and, uh, Everybody's in their swimwear, thrown, clothes thrown over their sexy swimwear, and they're going down to picnic. Okay, so practice this, okay? Think of the world you're in with a couple of changes. Where you are now, just with a couple of changes. Now what's going to happen is, the more you practice this, the more those changes that you've thrown the, into this world, or from the bridge you've made between the two worlds starts to bleed over and the other world starts to throw things down here as you throw things there okay <laughs> sounds crazy that's because everything true and real sounds crazy it's like too good to be true that's the way truth is it's too good it's too good so you don't believe it and that's why we don't go towards it because it seems crazy but joy joy is your homework your creative creating into the interdimensional reality is your homework because that's where we're lazy <laughs> and that's where all of the things that you want start to flow to you because because you're creating them all the scientists say quantum physicists say 
that they watch sci-fi <laughs> because sci sci-fi uh, is where people are dreaming up um, the new gadgets, the new gizmos that then the scientists start to, you know, think about and create because everything starts in the consciousness of, of someone somewhere first and then becomes actualized. So in my uh, other world, the world I'm inviting here, uh, we've mastered gravity control. And because we've mastered it and it's connected to the inner power of love, it's an interdimensional interaction between consciousness and physics, physicality. Uh, it cannot be used for destroying others and destroying the world. It can only be used for fun because it's accessed through the heart. That's where this magic ability of gravity control starts. And so we have these surfboards <laughs> that are so awesome that we, they're, they're like skyboards. Like you get on this board and you can control it to fly through the air, just like riding the wind currents like a bird. <laughs> and you can let it drop down and lift you up depending on your heart connection with the winds. <laughs> okay, that kind of thing might seem a little far-fetched, <laughs> but now we're going to bring it home, ground it a little more, okay, uh, in the other world, in, in the alternate reality. Al Gore did win the election, and so did Hillary. Well, we know that they actually both did win, but they were allowed to become president and, and all the votes were counted for them both. And so we addressed climate change much more rapidly than anyone ever expected we would. And, and we went, we got down to zero emissions through, um, well, through nuclear power, but uh, nuclear power was also, um, collided with a, the understanding of how to deal with the waste in a safe way and a responsible way and um, transmute it, transform it. Oh my God. And then green energy, the battery systems for solar and wind uh, became a new technology because Al Gore and Hillary Clinton put in all this money towards scientists so that they could come up with uh, the technology we needed. Go for it, honey. Start dreaming up the new reality, okay? Please. The more you do, the more the other world becomes this world. We're talking about the new Green Deal and all of us creating it together. So be creative. Be creative with your mind. All right? I love you. And you are here because you are a bridge between the healthiest, happiest world of all and reminding everyone what that world is like, bringing people back. Okay, love. Love you.